Good morning. Good morning from my Starbucks run by the water this morning. I'm having a lazy start. Got in here late last night. And I wanted to talk to you about things that really, as an entrepreneur, can get you stuck in growth. If you're new to me, I'm Sharon Haver from FocusOnStyle.com and I help other smart and savvy entrepreneurs who realize that their expertise is not enough to stand out in a very crowded market. So, sometimes that means that all the business strategies and all the tactics that you're doing may not always be the main thing that you need to do to grow or at least the main focus just like I'm out here and when I'm away on a business conference I always try to find a place that's really cool and really nice that energizes me to stay to get there a day before so I have some me time and do stuff I could connect with you I can unwind I can get some work done once I get dressed later I'll be doing some videos and I'm gonna be doing some work up on, on my deck on the roof so I can look at this beautiful water behind me and in a little bit I'm gonna walk down to where the sea lions are which I think is really cool they're only right across the street from me but anyway so the point of this is there's been a lot of stuff blowing up on my Facebook page and I've been seeing on Instagram and all over the place of people asking why do people follow and unfollow on Instagram particularly and the answer is because there's a lot of bots that do that there's a lot of companies that you know people follow they hire someone to, to build your audience. There's nothing wrong with hiring someone out to build your audience. But the tactic and the strategy is that they follow you and then they unfollow you. So you may notice that in your Instagram, things go up things go down but here's the thing if they're real people who are engaging with you they're not going to disappear so quickly unless they realize that they're with you and you're not the right fit your content isn't something that they they want to know more of or it's ugly and it doesn't excite them or it's just boring or it doesn't provide any value or whatever it is so if you spend a lot of your time getting stuck in this like oh it's probably someone in some place that's oh liking and not liking and that's not right it's like you're just wasting energy on something you could be doing that's far more productive that can scale your business like creating good content right <laughs> like creating content like even using something like other people's complaining about it as good content and you know in this day and age in social media I've been online since 1999 in all honesty, I um, I went from when I started out after a few years, I had like, God, like a million people a month on my site. I was number one for my search phrase for 10 years for fashion expert when I only did fashion. It was um, great. <laughs> it was amazing. I, I did at that time, sometimes when I would do shopping, I would... Um, do Google ads for particular shopping parts of my site, but my site was primarily my content. And uh, it was easy, but things have changed, you know, and now as an entrepreneur and helping other people achieve the growth that I had, I'm doing things differently. And one of the things is I kind of abandoned my um, Instagram and my YouTube for a number of years. I just didn't feel like doing it. So my um, YouTube, it's just, it's hard to get back on there now it's really hard to like really produce content and get a large audience unless you have ads which you didn't have to do before and the same with Instagram you'll notice that in Instagram that it's much harder to gain a following it's con it's being consistent it's steady and it's growing now I will also know I have people helping me build my community by finding other people and commenting and engaging and because there's just so much that only one person can do but what I notice when I'm doing that which is kind of interesting is that a lot of these mega gurus out there um, especially some big women I noticed this in Facebook ad targeting with someone who is um, a super leader in the women's online marketing and sales space and when I was doing Facebook ads and using her as one of my lookalike audiences I was getting these weirdo people and then it finally occurred to me 
that that's because most of our audience are fake followers. Now the same thing happens in Instagram. I'm working with someone and we're doing Instagram engagement and, and we don't follow and unfollow. I don't believe in following anyone else. I just believe in engaging and liking their content conversation we're finding someone else who's a pretty big deal in online marketing has a lot of fake followers too so people do pad out there whether it's right or wrong um, it, it gives you a lot of big vanity numbers but if you're after real engagement then what your real engagement should be not worrying about who has these crazy vanity numbers and not worrying about who's following you and who's unfollowing you but worrying about producing good consistent content that I write and that um, I hope gives you value and being able to engage with your community and build your community so you can get more followers that are actually customers and clients and not just followers now it takes about three months for somebody to really be interested in you to want to buy from you it's very infrequent for someone to sort of see you and say I want your stuff I mean sometimes there is that kind of magnetic connection and they just binge out on all the valuable content you've done and they're like hey this is really cool I don't know where you were in my life before I know where you are now and I want to do that but most of the time it just takes consistency in being in their face and right now to be consistency even if you're just putting a small amount of money on ads that's gonna help you doing lives like this that's going to help you but sitting around and bitching that you know they followed me and I'm following you that's just like negative energy that doesn't that doesn't help anybody and just you know it's just it's just lousy negative energy so you really need to figure out like are they legit following you or is it are they using some follow and follow service that costs 39 dollars a month you know so be it so be it and if you check out a lot of their followers you dig deep, you might find out that a lot of them are kind of weird and they're either the fake followers or the paid followers or the spam followers or whatever nonsense is out there. So I hope that helps. And you know, if you want to learn how to also go out there, one of the things that is really a big trend right now is people are being real. People are connecting in a much real way. They're sniffed out from all the nonsense that's happening and all the fake branding shoots and the stiff corporate photos that are overused. And people are really connecting on a real basis on being able to have valuable content, sharing a slice of life, positioning themselves to be seen as the expert they want to see because all they're really doing is learning how to share what they share just like you would on a reality show. So if you want to learn how to do that my friends I urge you to go over to AuthenticSuperstar.com and join me there because I will be starting the challenge super soon as soon as I am in one place and if you're gonna be following me for a while you will be seeing I'm gonna be doing more traveling I was just in um, Jackson Hole I'll be in New York I mean I'm in California I'll be back in New York I'll be back in California uh, fashion week back in Jackson Hole. I really wish I was going to Europe. I really wish there was a trip to Rome or Paris in there, but it's not right now. It will be one of these days soon. But anyway, so that's it. So um, pretty soon, I will be starting Authentic Superstore. I urge you to get in there right now. Well, it's free. Did I mention that it's free right now? So and it'll teach you how to you know, show up in photos, which is the first thing you do for all your videos, is set up your shot so that you, know, you see right now, I'm sitting here and I chose to have the breaking waves behind me. I could have been sitting here and doing the same shot with um, a garbage pail behind me. So I, I could have been mindless and done the same shot with a garbage pail with bird poop on it. But I chose, or right now, or just like kind of green and not nearly as exciting, but I chose how to set this up, even though it might look so off the cuff and I'm not wearing any makeup and I'm putting my arm on a bench. It's, there is some thought to it. So if you wanna learn how to set yourself up, how to be seen as the expert that you are, realizing that your expertise is not enough that you need to really put on your social presence with confidence, personality, and uniqueness that only you have, and no one else can ever be you. They can't steal you. Then I enjoy, urge you to go over to AuthenticSuperstar.com. In the meantime, I'm going to finish my dark 
roast venti with almond milk and I will come in and talk to you later. You know, I might come in just for a few minutes and show you the sea lion on the head. We'll see. Okay guys? But don't don't sweat the small stuff. Honestly, don't sweat the small stuff. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.